Burger Ripley out here in my dirty garage at the 3699 Ranch in the middle of May. I like to be fixing my barbecue up and everything, working outside. Caught up on the mowing, but my automobile had a power steering leak. And I replaced the uh, overings on the pump. It was only $4.25, and they needed them, but that didn't solve my leak problem. And I noticed another puddle over here, and I've got it in the garage. It's my spare car. Um... I found a leak right away when I pulled the wheel off. And there's tons of other maintenance that I've been putting off till nice weather. But this leak was right in my face. And it's right here where I point to at this at this union right here. It's a low low pressure return line. And this line here is crispy. It's it shouldn't move like that. It should be solid. But it's all crispy. You can see it, it's flaking off. The clamps need replaced. This this steel pipe's 17 inches. Return line. This is some fuel line that I just found. A stick of that laying around. It'll be a while before I get it back together. But here's your oil filter, and this is the other end of the the line right there. Your oil filter, and then this line. Your, your CV boot. There. CV boot to the right, rack and pinion steering to the left boot. So the, the rack's not leaking, the return line is. This line's shot. I'm going to replace that line. It can potentially leak onto the exhaust, which is right there, and poof. You'll have, you know, that could be a tremendous uh, safety hazard having a power steering or highly flammable transmission fluid leak. So, so that'll get fixed before the car leaves. And uh, I'll just keep going from there. It'll be better than new when I'm done. Thanks for watching my videos. And uh, yeah, that was just great. It's still, I even have the parts laying around. I think if I had a couple clamps, no. So I can get busy doing some other things now. That was or I was just relieved to find out it was something that simple. Thanks for watching, Burger Rippy over here.